again. In this video, I will complete the story of Cephalosporin family. To see the overview of Cephalosporin family, in, uh, including mechanism of action, adverse reaction, see the previous video known as first generation Cephalosporin. Second generation Cephalosporin members of this family, including Cephachlor, Cephamandol, Cephonicid, Cephoroxime, Cephoxetin, and Cephotitan. Cephachlor, Cephoroxime, and Cephoprozil are available in the United States, America. And Cephoxetin and Cephotitan, which have activity against anaerobes bacteria. A spectrum activity of the second generation cephalosporin, including in general, second generation cephalosporin are relatively active against organisms inhibited by first generation drug. But in addition, they have extended gram negative coverage, such as Haemophilus influenza, Eclipsilia species, Brussels species, Escherichia coli, and Morgzella catarrhalis, where the activity against gram positive organism is weaker than first generation Cephalosporin. Eclipsilia species, including those resistant to first generation Cephalosporin, are usually sensitive. So, the uh, second generation have more activity against Eclipsilia than first generation Cephalosporin. Cephaloxime and Cephachlor are active against Haemophilus influenza but not against Serratia or Bacteroid Pragellus. In contrast, Cephoxetin and Cephotitan, this antibiotic which have activity against an Arab bacteria, are active against Bacteroid Pragellus and some Serratia strains, but are less active against Haemophilus influenza. As with first generation agent, not members of this group active against Enterococci or Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Second generation Cephalosporins make hep in vitro except active against Enterobacter species, but in vitro, not in vivo. A clinical use of second generation Cephalosporin, the oral second generation Cephalosporin involving Cephaloxime, Cephalochlor are active against a beta lactamase producing Haemophilus influenza or Merxella catarrhalis and have been used primarily to treat sinusitis, otitis, and lower respiratory tract infection. Cephoxetin and Cephotitan, which have activity against anaerobic bacteria, can be used to treat mixed anaerobic infection such as peritonitis, diverticulitis, and pelvic inflammatory disease. The third indications of second generation Cephalosporin have activity in skin and skin structure infection caused by Staphylococcus aureus that penicillinase or non penicillinase producing strains, Cytococcus biogenes, Escherichia coli, Eclipsilia species, and Enterobacter species. The most strain that have infection or causing infection of skin and skin structure infection is Staphylococcus aureus and Cytococcus biogenes. Recommended dosage for oral and parental second generation Cephalosporin. In this slide, there is uh, members of second generation Cephalosporin and the route of administration and the dose for adult and the dose for pediatric patient. Cephachlor, Cephaprozil, Cephoxime have oral administration or have oral dose form. In addition, Cephoxime have oral and parenteral. But Cephamandol, Cephoxidine, Cephotitan, Cephomitazole have parenteral or dose form. In this slide, we'll see the example of second generation Cephalosporin. Kindly like this video, subscribe this channel. See you later. Bye.